Hi, in this lesson, we'll look at 2D arrays. Let's go. In unit six, we learned how we could create arrays, which allow us to store a fixed number of elements of the same type in one variable. Using arrays, we can store series of data in list form to make it easier to access information. In this case, we can track student progress on exams over time by creating a series of arrays that track each student's scores. Even this, however, can become tedious if the amount of data begins to grow consistently. Keeping track of exams 1 to 20 in 20 different variables can be tedious and can lead to careless mistakes if we aren't careful. Luckily, we can actually place all of these individual arrays into a single variable. Because arrays store elements of the same type, we can actually store an array of arrays. To declare an array that stores arrays, we add an additional set of brackets when declaring the array. Here we can see that this is an array that stores int arrays. Alternatively, we can create an array that stores arrays by creating an empty array. This code tells Java to create an array that can store two arrays, each with their own set of five indices. We can then add individual arrays to the array. In this case, we can only add up to two arrays, as the array only allows for two. Arrays that store other arrays are referred to as 2D arrays. We consider these 2D arrays because we can visualize and access them the same way we might a grid, taking the exam scores data from the previous slide and writing them out as individual arrays, we can see that this data resembles a gradebook of sorts. The rows represent the different exams that students take, while the columns in this grid are the individual students in the gradebook. If we wanted to find the exam scores for a particular student, let's say find student 2's grade for exam 3, we can do so in a similar fashion to how we search for values in a 1D array. To access a value in a 2D array, we use the same notation as a 1D array, but with an additional call to access the individual element within an array. The value found in the first set of brackets in a 2D array accesses the array at a particular index. In this case, we are accessing the third exam in the array, which can be found at index 2 in our 2D array. Since the value at index 2 is an array, we then need to use a second set of brackets to access the index in that particular array that we would like to find. In this case, we want to access index 1 of the array to get the second student's grade for the exam, as the first student would be found at index 0. When accessing elements in a 2D array, we access the row and then the column of the array. Generally speaking, the row of the 2D array is going to be an array, and the column is a value that is being stored in that 1D array. We can use this same notation to modify the value of elements in a 2D array. In this instance, we are changing index 0 in the array located in index 3 of the 2D array to 45. We can see that change reflected here. Now that you've learned about 2D arrays, let's get some practice using them in the editor.